Unbroken tells the story of track running, record setting, crash landing, raft drifting, shark grabbing, bullet dodging, and torture enduring prisoner of war enslavee Louis Zamperini, and claims to be a true story. But how much of what we see really happened? Let's break Unbroken down in 20 elements. Young Louis is a thief and a troublemaker. Sure enough, he had his first smoke at age five, his first drink at age eight. His Italian heritage meant he was frequently bullied, punched, and kicked. Louis's running career begins when he's caught spying on girls from underneath the bleachers. Who's down there? Not quite, but girls did play a role. In the ninth grade, a group of girls charmed Louis into competing in a race. Initially, Louis hated running, but his older brother Pete made him keep at it. As a 17-year-old, Louis sets a record for the fastest mile. The mile in four minutes, 21.3 seconds. This time stood as a national high school record for 19 years. Louis in the Olympics. Louis competed in the 5,000 meter event. He didn't medal, he finished eighth overall, but he did have the fastest final lap. After the race, he actually met the Adolf Hitler, who was seated in the stands. They shook hands and Hitler said, Ah, you're the boy with the fast finish. Crash land in the middle of the ocean? Bird meat for dinner. Even after starving for 10 days, the men couldn't bring themselves to put the bird meat in their mouths. It smelled too foul. No one even tasted this first bird. But later on, they were able to eat and keep down raw meat from several birds. Find some right birds. Louis makes a vow. I swear I'll dedicate my whole life to you. Louis kept this promise. After the war, he was tormented with nightmares, drank heavily, and obsessed about how to kill the bird. But a Christian rally sparked Louis to change. He remembered his prayers as a captive, met and forgave his captors, and traveled the states as an inspirational speaker. Catch a shark using only your bare hands, then eat its liver. They caught and fed off at least two sharks in this way. Shot at from above. Snapped at from below. Adrift for 45 days. Actually, it was 47 days, which set a new world record for survival time on an inflated raft. Louis and Phil are immediately tortured. The first several days after their rescue, Louis and Phil were treated very well, with a doctor, plenty of food, and nice beds to sleep in. The bird is Louis's camp sergeant from day one. Louis spent more than a year in his first POW camp, which we never see in the film, before he was transferred to this camp where the bird was in charge. The bird hears about Louis's Olympic status and makes him race. It wasn't the bird, but guards in his first camp did make Louis race a Japanese runner, and Louis lost badly. A few months later, he raced again against another civilian and actually beat the guy. Louis had lost so much weight that he felt like running was actually easier because of it. You fail. Hello, America. Louis speaks his own words on a radio broadcast. There's more to the story here. When Louis was first captured, an order was given to execute him. But the Japanese learned he was an Olympian and decided instead to use this high-profile captive as a propaganda tool. Ultimately, he refused to cooperate. I can't say this. So, in a funny way, being an Olympian literally saved Louis Zamperini's life. Punched in the face. It wasn't just Louis who was punched. Five or six other prisoners were also punched because a few of them had stolen fish. Each of these guys was punched 220 times in the face. Just months after the bird is transferred to another camp, Louis is transferred to the same camp. Louis is caught resting and forced to hold a beam over his head. Actually, this was punishment for talking to the camp doctor without permission. Angry and defiant, Louis held this beam over his head for an amazing 37 minutes until the bird lost control and attacked him. The end of the war is announced and the prisoners are invited to bathe in the river. The date here is August 20th, 1945, meaning Louis had been a POW for more than 25 months. 
A nostalgic look at the bird's quarters? This never happened. Final scores for Unbroken. How closely does this movie match reality? Pretty closely. Some of the plot points are combined or rearranged, but most of what we see actually happened. How does the movie look and feel from a production standpoint? Great. It was well shot with some nice visuals and good special effects to boot. How does it rate for entertainment and inspirational value? This is where it falls short. Louis Zamperini's life was amazing, but this movie doesn't quite get there. It's kind of bland. We see a lot of tough things happening to Louis, but it's like we're just learning the facts, not really experiencing the joys and hardships along with Louis on an emotional level. So it's a very accurate story and it's shot well, but it doesn't quite deliver as an inspiring film. How did you like Unbroken? What did you think of our review? Could you eat raw bird meat or float for a month at sea? Finally, what movie should we fact check next? Tell us in the comments section below. Thank you for watching, and remember, if you can take it, you can make it. What?